Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the FFmpeg filter MP Decimate. So this isn't a comprehensive tutorial on using MP Decimate. I'm just going to talk about the instance that I've used it in recently and some things I've learned. So what MP Decimate does is drop frames that look the same in your video and it reduces the frame rate. And as such, it also reduces the file size. So I'll show you the instance I've been using this. So I have this video file here. It's a screen capture. And if I play this, you can see not much changes here. So the screen is more or less the same. If I scroll through here, it's a lot of the same thing. So there's very little differences frame to frame. So I can run the MP Decimate filter on this and I can really shrink that file down. So I have FFmpeg installed on my computer and I'll put a link below to my FFmpeg page which has instructions on installing this on different systems. And I'll also put a link below to the notes for this video where you can find the commands I'm typing in. So I'm on the desktop right now and we have this file here called segment0008 and it's 731 megabytes. So I can run this command. I have it down here on the bottom of the screen, but I'll walk through it. So I'll type ffmpeg space dash i. So this is the input file and we want that segment underscore 0008.mp4. Then we want to do dash vf and that's the mp decimate filter. And I'll do space and then dash vsync space vfr. So what this is going to do is it's going to synchronize the audio and the video track together. So we're taking a bunch of frames out of the video track, but we want to leave the audio track the same. So this will sync those two up correctly. Then I'll type space dash a codec space copy. So I'm going to copy the audio track. I don't want to re-encode it. And then space, and then I'll do the same name of the file and I'll just do underscore sm here before the extension. I'll hit enter. Okay, so that completed. I'll look at the files now. So now we see the original segment 0008 is 731 megabytes and the new one is 9.6 megabytes. So it is way smaller. Okay, so I'll open this up here. I'll find a part where I'm talking a little bit. Go to your Apple menu and say about this Mac. Okay, so the audio is correct. So we have this file that is more or less the same and the audio is all synced up. Well, I had some trouble importing this into Final Cut Pro. And I found a simple solution in my tests, and that was just to change the extension here to .move, so it would change it to a QuickTime file. So MP4 and Move are nearly identical, but there's something in it that makes it work with Final Cut. And sometimes it did work with Final Cut, and sometimes it didn't. But that gets me to the next point is, don't delete your original file if you use this. Because you may find that something's wrong, or it doesn't work with some player, or this or that, and you don't want to remove the original. You always want to be able to go back to that. So I use this with some screen capture, and this would probably also work well with like old animation where the frames don't change a lot. I know a lot of like computer animated stuff, you'll have all sorts of frame changes, and it's almost like regular video. So I'm going to pull some directories up here so we can compare a set of files that I've run this on. Okay, so on the left I have the original file, and on the right I have the one that I shrank down with MP Decimate. So the first one here is 1.66. Compacted down to 16.8 megabytes. So 4 gigabyte went to 46 meg. We have 180 megabyte went to 1.6 megabytes. That would almost fit on a floppy disk. 2.32 gigabytes went down to 17.7 megabytes. And we have 766 megabytes went down to 10 megabytes. And 263 megabytes went down to 3.3 megabytes. So you can see there are huge changes here. And here's another example. This is a 10 gigabyte file, 10.21 gigabyte file. And this one went down to 94 megabytes. So this isn't magic. If we open up this 10 gigabyte file, not much changes. So this is an install video I did. It's a screen capture and installing Xcode takes forever. So not much is happening on the screen here. You can see the indicators moving a little bit. The clock isn't showing right now, but the clock would also be changing. So you can see that's changing really slowly. So there are a lot of duplicated frames here. So that filter really dropped it down to be super tiny. Now there are other settings you can use with MP Decimate. Um, you can read about them on the FFmpeg website. I didn't get into those. I haven't really messed with those. I've just used the filter itself. But certainly this is something you could experiment with if you want to you know, explore it a little bit more. So I'm probably going to keep experimenting with this and trying it in some of my projects. 
I mean, this was a huge one here to take this 10 gigabytes down to 100 meg. It was a lot easier to transfer over to Final Cut. And once I got it into Final Cut, I actually took most of that clip and sped it up in Final Cut. So even after it rendered out, it didn't make a really big file. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.